Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at modern women having meltdowns over the future. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you? I'm sure that it will be a reasonable amount, as they seem like a very... down-to-earth person. Way over five mil. I'm sorry, how much? Was that per year? Over five million? Yes. Per year? Yes. Why? Yes, why? That, that is a very valid question. Why would a man have to make over five million dollars a year just to have a chance of dating someone? Why? Because that's how much... Never mind. Who caught that? Shall we listen to that again? Why? Because that's how much... Never mind. So over five million dollars a year in order to be with you? Yes. And this is one of the many reasons I think that good women are actually having problems finding good men. Because guys are honestly being inundated with this type of thing all of the time. Because some women out there think that they are worth a partner that makes over five million dollars a year just because they're young and pretty. I wonder how that's going to work when age finally catches up to them. Even the girl herself realized five million was way out of the question and had to correct herself. I'm back from Applebee's. Yeah, I had a drink. Okay. How old are you? Twenty-one. You're 21? My dad is, um... Uh, is Who is that? Did you hit that pole that's over there? No. You hit the utility pole? Hit anything, Because yeah. your bumper's in the yeah, middle no. of the road. No, my, um... I hit the... So do you see like, this side? Yeah. I hit this. Okay. At my, um... How long ago? Uh, like, about a month ago, my exes, because he broke up with me and I broke up. Listen, your bumper's in the road over there. So if someone brings that bumper over here, it's not going to match up perfectly. Witnesses said they saw a white car cross over in this direction, and I happen to find your car parked here with no with no bumper. Can I call my dad, who's the sheriff's officer? Let the one officer come here who's, who's out with your other part of your bumper. He's going to talk to you, and then we'll go from there, okay? You see this? I hit it here before this piece fell off of the traffic light that you hit, that you knocked over. Why it doesn't help anything. Dad, so Dad, you get a little farther. I'm the soccer team. But please, don't arrest her because she hit a traffic light while being drunk. She is the captain of a soccer team, for goodness sake. <laughs> very okay with not having a man like i don't need one <laughs> but where is he though like where is he like is he stuck in traffic like where is he though this is just the precursor to a clingy girlfriend in the making sometimes when a man knows you deserve more he leaves you alone it's very simple they and they sometimes they won't even tell you that they would literally just leave you alone because they know they know you're a different breed, they know you're a different caliber, and right now they probably can't do nothing for you that they would want to at least. So you gotta let people come, let people go. Everybody knows their role, believe it or not. Everybody see the queen in you, especially if you hold yourself like a queen, they're gonna, they're gonna wanna come correct. It's not much you have to do. If a man distances himself, it means that he's no longer interested. Simple as that. How come every time you have sex with someone, they leave? Every uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you, but I just have a question. What's the point of moving the time an hour forward? What, do I gain an extra hour or I lose an extra hour? You're gonna move it forward, you're gonna move it back. Why can't we just leave the time as it is? I don't understand the point of giving an extra hour and losing another hour. It's bull it is, it's just bullsh I mean, that one took a wild turn. Definitely was not expecting him to bring this up, but hey, it's kind of a good counter argument. I think I have just lost the one person that I've prayed for. Like, all because of my self-sabotaging tendencies. Because God forbid, God forbid I actually accept good things that are happening to me because I'm so used to it being a mess I 
I'm so used to it being toxic. And here I am in the face of a non-toxic situation, in the face of a God-fearing man, in the face of a, a, a family man, an amazing person. And I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I think I've just lost, I think I just lost the opportunity to experience something I've never experienced before. Hey, she deserves some credit for owning up to her actions. While that man may be gone, she knows how to do better moving on. Okay, listen, there's no way I'm this hot, <laughs> this hot and single, oh, and single. Period. There's no reason. So taking boyfriend applications for um, sweater weather, no, uh, fall we're season. Husband applications. Yes, Welcome we're taking. Yes, we're taking husband applications. When you dress up, or should I say, dress down like that in public, what else do you expect? I just wanted to jump on here and say that there is a male loneliness epidemic going on, and I am proud to be contributing to it. I make good money, I have amazing friends, my family's close by, I travel, I have a good life. And I refuse to bring a man into my space unless he can make my life even better. So I'm not going to date a man that wants to split the bill 50-50. I can go do that with my friends. Or if I go shopping and he wants me to carry my own bags, I already do that now. I want someone who's going to take care of me and to enrich my life. I want someone who wants to do those things for me. And it goes both ways. There are things that I would be willing to do for my man that I wouldn't normally do in a typical friendship. But until I meet someone where I'm like, my life is better with you in it, I'm going to remain the same. I am fine on my own. And if that means I'm just going to be the drunk single aunt that shows up for family functions just to give out presents because I'm wealthy, so be it. It doesn't sound that bad because I have friends that settle they're living my worst nightmare. So until I find that person, I'll be simping over my fictional book boyfriends and my K-pop boyfriends. These two things actually enrich my life. Not a man that texts me at midnight saying, what are you doing? Just how delusional is she? With this approach, she will never find true love. Love is not math to be reduced to an equation. I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. I have spent most of my days Figuring out how I can become physically, mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough to be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math and it, it does not work out. I am not young enough or fertile enough or financially stable enough to even do another round of IVF. And at 36, like, I'm sorry, like, you're gonna say, like, you have time. Like, I don't because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work when I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money, I don't have the resources or the community, and it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex-husband that were viable, and they're just gone now. And my future, my future with those children and my life as a mother is just, it's gone. and. It's not just that it's gone, it's the fact that it was decided for me. By so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me. Because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. And I'm heartbroken. Something tells me she isn't telling her entire life story, because there's a reason she's still single, and a reason she didn't take any accountability. Next, uh, 56. She is definitely a BBW. I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. She's definitely a BMW. She's big, she, she's a larger lady. She says, friendly, creative person looking for marriage with the right person. I'm also looking for a generous man who will spoil me and also teach me investing skills. I have been single and independent all these years, so it's time for a change.
love traveling, staying in beautiful hotels, plus singing, cooking, and gardening. And she's 56, and she is a big, beautiful woman. The entitlement, fellas. Another delusional woman who only wants to enjoy idleness living at the expense of a rich man. The chances of her finding herself in such a situation are zero. I don't want to be alone. This truly is a terrible feeling, but if there's any time to change it, it's right here and now. You never had a man move on from you. You can't even be mad at the girl that he left you Because <laughs> I can't even lie, that's a good woman. She She's a good woman, Savannah. Like, she's super thick, she's super cute, her body tea. <laughs> she looks like she can cook. I've never met the girl, but she, she looked like she can cook. And I feel like she has a lot more patience for you than I do. So I, I can't even talk, I can't talk about the girl at all. Honestly, in a different world, she's probably my best friend. So I really, I, I, I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> like people love to say, oh, you'll never find nobody better than me. You're never gonna find anybody that ever compares to me. I don't say that. I don't say that. I, you'll never catch me saying You, depending on the category, baby, she might be whooping me. She might truly have me beat. Honestly, she, this could be a really good decision for you. <laughs> like I'm not gonna call it an upgrade, but it, it's, it's some things that I'm not gonna do for a man. It's some things that I'm just not going to do. And if she's willing to do it, I think that you made a good choice, brother. <laughs> Let's take a moment to really appreciate this woman. It's rare for someone to be so self-aware and honest with themselves and others. Great mindset and big respect for this lady. It was never going to be you. It was never It was never going to be you. So for you to be so delusional and crazy like that, it, it's ridiculous. It's real. It's, it, a dude is going to know how dudes operate best, and she should have listened before it was too late. This woman caused quite a scene on board her Delta flight. Uh, you, may, you may not have a job tomorrow. I want this lady. Now the tables have turned on Susan Perez. She's been placed on leave during an investigation for throwing her weight around. Governor. Yep, it turns out the woman who got all sorts of attention for her obnoxious behavior works for the He's New York State Council time. on the Arts. The drama began when Perez boarded the Delta flight from JFK to Syracuse, New York, and was seated in the back of the plane. Marissa Rundell and her eight-month-old son, Mason, were in the same aisle. Rundell says Perez was cursing about her seat assignment. I said, please don't use that language in front of my son. And she turned around and saw me, and she said, shut up. It escalated from there when the passenger complained about sitting next to the eight-month-old boy. He's not going to cry the whole time. Then a flight attendant stepped in. He, you on the next flight? Your name? Tabitha. Thank you, Tabitha. You may not have a job tomorrow. I want this lady. Perez instantly backed off. I can't, Tabitha. I have to. I apologize. Please. No. I apologize. All right. I apologize. I have to be in this place. How can someone act like this in public on an airplane and expect to be shown remorse? The strong black woman narrative is a scam. Wake up. I had a good run. I did everything the society told me to do. I worked really hard. I damn near broke my back. I paid all my bills. I put everybody else first. I told men I was independent. I refused to accept gifts and help. I said I was strong. I did it and I did it to say that I won nothing from it. I literally did not win any special awards. My life has not changed drastically. So now I'm going to reclaim my time, okay? When you see me now, know that I'm a soft babe. Soft like babe, you get it? I'm not Ani. I'm not Jay-Z. This is not a hard knock. That's not my life, okay? And when you see me now, you address me as such, okay? I want to be able to look at me and say, wow, this babe is soft. Wow, this babe likes enjoyment. Wow, this babe has not walked a day in her life. That's what I want you to see me as, okay? And when you see me next, address me as Chief Executive Commander in Chief of Soft Life Babes. Good day. I think the final step to this is letting go, because that's when things will naturally come to her. In fact, bragging is just going to make things harder. Part of the marital vow is that? None. Oh, okay, then why would you do it? Because I'm going to be honest, after watching, what is that show, um, Alchemy? Because me, me and him have been together for seven years, and he always wants to be watch what show? Um, it was Tyler Perry, Alchemy, or something where 
uh, she became bitter because she stayed with him the whole time. And then finally, You're when he got years on, old, ma'am. You, you, you broke your marriage up because of a Tyler Perry show? No, no, it's not because it, it just resonated with me because I have you had any have you sought therapy? <laughs> no, Kevin. You're laughing, but I'm not. I'm dead serious. I, I got other things to do. I'm talking to a thirty no, year I, listen. I'm talking to a thirty one year old mother of a twelve year old girl. And talk about you divorced your working husband because you watched the Tyler Perry movie. No, I because, know. I listen know. very well, ma'am. See, the problem you have is that I'm saying I'm, what I'm saying, and I'm parroting it back, and it sounds terrible. Right. It does. But that's your life. So you don't mind. Yeah, it is terrible. Well, yeah, but you did it. See, you don't mind doing it, but you don't want nobody saying it. And you honestly think you can drag this to another man, and he's gonna be like, okay, cool. But I, I think, can I say one thing? I think that man I think is too good missing... for you, honestly. I hope he finds another woman who's going to have his children instead of, can't, instead, well, instead of taking care of yours and, and, and a dead But he didn't. He didn't take care of mine. Oh, and yeah, I, did. Actually I, I don't want to hear him. If he If he paid for, if he paid rent, if he paid anything in the rent, lights, food, groceries, utilities, even if he paid 3%, he took care of your child. After all this, it sounds like she did indeed dump him over the Tyler Perry movie. This is based on a survey where men and women were asked if they got 80% of everything they want in their ideal mate, would they be happy with that? And women said, no, that's settling. And men said, 80%, I'd be thrilled, that's a catch. And so- 80% of you know, the women you surveyed is settling? That's settling because, you know, the question is, what actually makes us happy in long-term romantic love? And, you know, that's the question that I explore in the book. And I'm a journalist, so I went out and I asked neurobiologists about chemistry, and I asked behavioral economists about demographics, and I asked marital researchers. What are women too picky about here? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, men and women were asked what would be a deal breaker for going on a second date. And men named three things. They said she has to be cute enough. She doesn't have to look like Angelina Jolie. She just has to be cute enough. She has to be warm and kind. And she has to be interesting to talk to. Those seem like really valid criteria. Ding, 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 ding. We, Pretty simple. Right. Uh, Okay, reasonable, right? The women came back with 300 things that would rule out a guy for a second date. And we're talking about like another two hours and maybe a free dinner. And they wouldn't do it. And there were things like he wore a brown belt with black shoes. Or we were having a really good time and I thought he was cute and he was interesting. But then he went, he did this Austin Powers impression. And I just can't get that out of my mind and I can't go out with him again. Austin Powers guy could be the love of her life. There are only so many things that you can ask from your partner, and when it becomes too much, that's when you end up alone. Having a bit of a tough day today, so I thought that I'd share that. Even though I'm the person who initiated the divorce, I'm feeling some jealousy because my ex is really out there working it. Not necessarily that he's looking for a girlfriend, but He's definitely working on building his social network. And that includes women. And even though I don't want to be with him anymore in that way, it still triggers jealousy and pain. I know he's suffering and you know he's dealing with the rejection that he feels because I'm the one who is leaving. Stop the cap. <laughs> it's almost like she didn't think before making the choice to divorce him. Either that or she's missing the feeling of being with another person. Went to a singles mixer and only women showed up. Well, this must have been super awkward for everyone in attendance. Today I realized that I don't need no man. I want a man. I do. But I don't need him. I want him. But I don't need him. Sometimes we can't get what we want, and that's just how the cookie crumbles. Steve. Hey, Michelle. I'm 35, mm -hmm. never been married, no kids, and I'm waiting on my person. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, here we go again. I've never online dated, hinged, tindered, 
bumbled, mingled, and don't plan to because I just don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, I have high expectations for myself and I will have them for that man that comes alongside me and wants to run this life race. Do you think my independent alpha female mentality comes off too strong? Yes, 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 yes. Have you been in long-term relationships? I have. I've been in three, and all, were... all less than about a year and a half, and okay. I call it off actually a wedding as well. And the guys were? Incredible, just not the ones I want to spend my life with, like life responsibility really? issues. No, no, no! You, an alpha woman, extremely independent, but you want a man that's more alpha male than you are, and you want to know if he's out there. Well, yeah, like the faith-filled, you know, I need like a Scottie Pippen to my MJ. Like, I'm MJ, you know, like Michael Jordan, and I need that Scottie Pippen that's going to toss that. me the ball. Wait, 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 wait. What? Well, maybe she should have thought about all this before dumping those great men. Men don't marry wife. girlfriends. I'll be doing more of those things. So what you're saying is, I have to marry you, make you make you my wife, in order for you to start doing wife things. I mean, I'm just a girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. Shreka, do you want to marry me? Yes. Why? Because you a provider, a protector. You watch out for me. I love you. Why would I not want to marry you? I appreciate that. And I love you too. So what you're saying to me is, those are the things you want your husband to do. Yes. So you see your husband in me. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay, okay. So the things I'm doing right now, even though I'm not your husband, you want your husband to do. And the crazy thing is, that's just who I am. Not because this is what I, I feel like I have to do. I do it because that's who Jeremy is. I'm already a husband. I'm just not your husband yet. Oh, so the man has to provide for her regardless of if they're married, but the girl doesn't have to until marriage. Women need to stop trying to become men because they can't become men and they're only going to fail at it. And when they try to become men, they become OnlyFans, sell their bodies online. <laughs> and guess what? One day you're going to get old, you're going to get wrinkly, you're going to become like an old miserable like Chelsea Handler and be childless, <laughs> husbandless. You eventually will want a husband. You will. And one day you're not gonna be able to have kids and you're gonna wish that maybe I didn't spend my whole life trying to be a boss babe and maybe I should have just, you know, done what society tells me not to do and got married and actually found a man. Like serve your daddy husband and not your corporate boss. And that's how w. you'll be happy. That's w. your legacy. She's absolutely right here. You can't just become a person you aren't. It goes for anything in life. The fake deck doesn't work forever. I'm so goddamn tired of being the fifth wheel or the third wheel. This shouldn't be happening. Do you understand? This should not be happening. We should not have somebody crying in their car because they are tired of being the third and fifth wheel. And make no mistake, cry all you want to. Crying should happen. Crying should happen whenever the fuck you want to, wherever the fuck you want to. Car, dry cleaners, where the fuck you want to cry, cry. What shouldn't be happening is awesome women should not be pushed to the brink of crying in their car because they are so fucking tired of being single. It should just be easier. It should just be easier for people to find each other. It should just be easier for women to find awesome men. Yes, I said it. She's sad and I'm angry. Now I'm angry because somebody made her cry. Sorry, the lack of somebody made her cry. Now I'm getting angry. She's great and she's built a whole life for herself and that is really attractive. There are a lot of us and we're not finding them. Why the fuck? Being angry won't help anyone. Better to ask yourself why there's so many unhappy single men and women in the modern world and what we can all do together to change that. Mary. Absolutely, I've never been Okay, married. hold on. Let's just let's just answer these questions. Your mother four, with, yeah. and how many how many different fathers? Four. Holy. <laughs> how many times have you been married? None. That ain't gonna work. I've been proposed to three times. But that I ain't gonna work. work. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I never accepted. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is not going to work. There's no marriage to a woman who has four kids by four different men who's never been married. What guy wants to follow that? So, so your answer is I'm done. As far as marriage, in all likelihood, yeah. I mean, how old are you? 44. 44, four, first off, ma'am, 
let's take you out of it. Do you have any sons? I do, two sons. So two of your, your, your two sons come back and both of them say, hey, mom, I found a woman with four kids from four different men. I'm going to marry her. You're going to say, go ahead, son. Let's go ahead and plan that up. Probably not. Exactly. I'll be honest, probably not. Exactly. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Exactly, because you, the men you're talking about are somebody's sons. I mean, here's the thing: if you didn't need to be married to have babies, you don't need to be married. You don't need to be married now. That's really how men think about it. I mean, four kids from four different people might be the nail in the coffin, but maybe she can learn from this one. Who am I kidding? She's not gonna learn. I hate this whole like healing and like your. Ugh. I hate it. Like, it feels good. It feels amazing when you love yourself and you're doing so great by yourself and, like, and, like being just strong, independent woman, empowering woman. But, like, at the same time, like, can we talk about how I crave to be cuddled? How I crave to just be like, can I just, like, kiss someone? Can I just, like, hold? Someone hold me. I need a big boy. But anyways, <laughs> I just, I just want to be held. And to be honest with you, like, I could go out and get that shit right now. Like, I could respond to a DM right now and be like, let's meet up, let's go Netflix and chill, and like, let me get it satisfied. But that's temporary satisfaction, and we are big girls, and we don't do that. We don't, we don't do that. Because that's a waste of my time. That's a waste of my mental health that I'm over here trying to battle every day. And it's like, why would I do that? But then at the same time, I don't respond to people because I don't want to. So how the hell am I going to find somebody if I don't want to respond to people? But at the same time, I know that they're not worth responding to. Until someone knocks on my door magically, God, <laughs> and says, hey, here you go, Alo. Here's your man. Here's the one that's going to love you correctly and me love correctly and just like everything, you know, and it's just fucking hard. Us as humans need our little person, but I don't want temporary anymore. I'm done with temporary. I'm ready for long term commitment. And that's what none of our generation is up for. No one. No one in this shit. All right, especially where I'm at. The shit I've been through and then it just makes me think about like how my sons... They don't have a legit family. I mean, they have a great family, like, of me. But, I mean, like, they don't have the mom and dad in the same household, is what I'm saying. And that sucks. At least this girl owned up to her actions. But the answer to her question lies right there. Because she ignores men. Oh, you know what the f*** is worse than heartbreak? When a loyal simp just moved on. What the f***? No! Because you need to come back here right now. This modern woman is having a meltdown because her supposed loyal simp smartened up and stopped simping. He must have been watching the Alpha Central YouTube channel and learned some lessons from us. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.